I want to mock you. I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakak Radash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who will, well, beginning with the other apostles, tower on down. Um, peace and salutations to the whole elect out there, push this truth and sincerity, and the team of their children keep on enduring because these prophecies are coming to pass. Salvation is very near. Okay, I'm your brother Bashar, and um, just want to talk about how the love of many is waxing cold, and how I noticed it. I'm, I'm you know, I've, 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 I've been noticed it, but the spirit jumped on me to do a lesson, and um, you know, Matthew, the 24th chapter, the 12th verse. It says, uh, because iniquity shall abound, have abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And I'm going to read the actual scripture. Scripture, just bear with me for a second. It's going to park my vehicle. Um, but, um, yeah, it says, the love of many shall wax cold. And I've noticed, like, I was having to talk with my sister the other day we were talking about like particular relationships and um I came to the conclusion that a lot of relationships need therapy or counsel I, you know basically they need to go get some professional help because there's so much there's so much uh there's so much let's lock you there's so many uh, issues between relationships and I'm not just talking about boyfriend and girlfriend I'm talking about relationships in general and it's like you know we see these prophecies Coming to pass, just like I'm just gonna get the math, get Matthew 24th chapter. Just like you again, just bear with me for a second. Matthew 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound. The love of many shall wax cold. And ultimately, it's because people don't know who they are, man. And, you know, what makes it even worse, he, he saw us throwing out these fiery darts. And you know, it's causing people to really be Cold hearted, you know, with Esau throwing like throwing out all of all of these attacks. You know, for those of you who for you who don't know, Esau is a so-called white man. Um and you know they're ruling the world today. The race is ruling the world today. I'm not I'm not just talking about the average Joe Shmo, I'm talking about the elites. They are from the nation of Edom. And they are, uh, they got all these types of psyops, pushed out to all the types of psyops that is really causing people to um, go up against one another. And um, it's causing people to become cold towards each other. You know, I remember like growing up, my grandmother and, you know, and her brothers, sisters will, will come down and just that older ge generation was, they would hope each other, they was like come more kind to each other. And then fast forwarding to, you know, I'm grown now and it's my generation is like cold hearted, you know? And they don't really care for one another. And we, we can see these things getting worse as time goes on because 
you know, we 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 know that these prophecies are gonna gonna continue to come to pass, and not only come to pass, but get stronger. The one the the ones that have already came to pass are gonna, you know, continue to get stronger. And 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 you know, until the Lord comes back, until Yahweh Shai comes back, you know. And um, that was just all my spirit, and just wanted to encourage you, brothers and sisters, to you know talk to one 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 another, and you know fellowship with with one another. Don't don't be distant. And if there's any problems, talk it out, you know, with understanding. Med meditate upon it. And if you gotta try it again, do it. You know, if you gotta do it a few times, just do it. You know, that that negative energy is not good to have have built up in your system. You don't want negative energy built up in your system because it's gonna do you damage internally. It's not something that is a good thing to for you to allow to happen. So you gotta. Um, let that negative energy out some way, somehow, you know, you got to release it. And with that, I'm the brother Bashar. Um, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, the true elders of Israel, who were well. Peace and salutations to the whole elect out there pushing his truth and sincerity. And to you, women and children, keep on adoring. Because these prophecies are coming to pass. Salvation is very near. This is your brother Bashar. Shalom.